Okay, I want to introduce uh, another one from our younger generation. Are you guys keeping warm out there? Are you still fired up? You gotta keep that fire. How many of you are part of the tea party too? Keep that tea hot. I don't know what you have for dinner. <laughs> so, sorry I couldn't resist. All right, our, our next speaker is a young speaker, because we this is where it's at, because they have to live through what this generation is doing. He's the president of the Marquette University. Go Warriors! just they're gonna come on stage and my own state representative bumped me I didn't think they could be mean to constituents but my I do live in Michelle Litchens district and I help her get elected and it's so great that we have a great conservative from the 56th assembly district yeah. you know the college Republicans at Marquette have been doing a lot of great things this semester we heard the college Democrats were doing a uh, get out to the Occupy Milwaukee event. So we went in front of their table and we held pro-capitalism signs and we made them angrier than heck with our 40 to 4. We have held over 20 events for the college Republicans. We have created a new conservative group, Young Americans for Freedom at Marquette. We are going to win that campus for Scott Walker. We are going to do great things. the recall I went to Madison and I got I went to Madison with one of the college Republicans here and we went we got some Scott Walker signs and we ran out the first meeting we had them they are all over campus our students are ready to go we need a lot of resources in this race to win we need to educate college students before I was coming today I ran the numbers on how many college students there are in the state of Wisconsin there are over 300,000 college students, and you all assume they're liberal, but they're not. Here's the fact. Between 20 and 25 percent of college students vote, meaning 75,000 college students vote in the state of Wisconsin, leaving 225 who have not voted. 225! We need the resources on campus to go after those people and make sure they vote for Scott Walker. They vote for the Republicans who are running for the United States Senate. And that we can win the majority using college students because if we don't go after them, we will lose, we will lose the future. Ronald Reagan used to say, freedom is never more than one generation away. If we leave the college student generation, Freedom will be lost because the liberals will win that generation. I, I ran some numbers from the 2008 campaign. North Carolina, John McCain lost by 15,000 votes. There are 175,000 students in the public system alone in college and universities. 49% of 18 year olds have not registered to vote. But with voter ID, I think more people are going to vote and we're going to win the college campuses. 66% of the students voted for Obama. It's going to be way less than that in 2012. We're going to win our college campuses. We're going to do stand-up stand -up rallies like this on college campuses. We're going to educate our voters. We're going to go out, we're going to have fun, and we're going to make sure that we win for the Republicans and we stand with Scott Walker. Thank you.